geometric mean, okay, the geometric mean are these two values, and the extremes are these two values, and there's something called the means extremes property. You probably know it as the cross multiplication, where uh, this product equals this product, okay? But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna solve for the altitude or one of these pieces of the hypotenuse. When you drop an altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, it splits this uh, hypotenuse into two parts, A and B. And what happens is you end up with uh, three similar triangles, this small one, this medium one, and this overall right triangle. And these triangles are all similar to one another. The corresponding angles are congruent, the corresponding sides are gonna be proportional. And what happens is you end up having a uh, proportion that you can set up. This triangle and this triangle are the triangles we're gonna compare. And I'll just show you real quick. If you take this triangle, okay, and you rotate it, and you take this triangle and you rotate it, so you have them in the same orientation, same direction, here you've got A and the altitude. Here you've got B and the altitude. And you can see, you can set up a proportion. So A is to the altitude as the altitude is to B. So you're comparing the base to the base as the height is to the height. So these two triangles are similar, so the corresponding sides are proportional. But practicality, just uh, practically speaking, how do we use this? Well, let's go over here and look at some examples. If we want to find this altitude here, X, all we do is we set up a proportion. We say 4 is to X as X is to 9. So the altitude, okay, that's the geometric mean. That's these guys. These are the means. These are the extremes, 4 and 9. Cross multiply, so you get x squared equals 36, and take the square root of both sides and you get x equals 6. So that's going to be the altitude. Okay, this one, same thing, we have a right triangle. We drop an altitude to the hypotenuse, to the base here. This altitude splits the hypotenuse up into two pieces, x and 16. So we know that all three of these triangles formed are similar, so we can set up a proportion. So same thing, x is to 8 as 8 is to 16, okay? So again, you can see the altitude is the mean, okay? These are the means, and these are the extremes. So if we cross multiply, we get 16x equals 64, divide by 16, and we get 4. Okay, last example. Sometimes what they'll do is they'll give you this whole length. So by taking 29 minus 25, we see that this is 4, okay? And let's just verify that... Uh, this works, so you can see that four is to 10 as 10 is to 25, 100 equals 100. So you can see the altitude here is the geometric mean of the two parts of the hypotenuse that it divides it up into.